TJ here, playing a game of Battletoads Arcade, the fourth and final sequel of the Battletoads. It came out in the early 90s. Playing it right now on Rare Replay on the Xbox One. Playing as Rash. There are three Battletoads you play as. Zitz, Rash, and Pimple. In this sequel, you can play as all three of the Battletoads if you want. This is the first boss of the stage, General Slaughter. Tall, tall, powerful man. Right now, I'm playing as Rash. Yeah, the second Battletoad in the game. Yes. This is the first stage of the video game. Space Armada. You have to protect the, the turf from the Dark Queens. Dark Dark Queens, well, military police group. In other words, not military police, but talk about terrorist group gang against their alien crew of mutant, of mutant rats and pigs. Kicking the rats right now. Wow, Rash and Zitz are the, are the fastest runners in the game. The control stick is to move, B is to jump, X is to, to do a special attack, and the A button is to do all the kicking and punching. The A button is the attack. If you press the control stick twice, you dash. Take this, and that, and this. Rash is my favorite Battletoad character. Because he's fast and agile, and he looks really cool with the glasses with sh the shades on. It's a ripoff from the, from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It's very similar. It's more edgy and... More, they're more edgy and serious than the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. David Weiss is actually the man who created the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. He also worked on the graphics and, and theme song in this, this video game. There was also an animated series called Battletoads. It only lasted for about only one episode. There was never a sequel. It did not last very long. They canceled it in an instant because it was not as good as they expected it to be. People just did not find it amusing. being electrocuted by the grunts, overweight pigs, overweight new pigs, beating the crap out of these fools. Take this, and this, and this. I eat Butt kicking time. Here he is. The same animations that we see in Battle Maniacs. Battle Maniacs is the second sequel to the Battle Toads. Take this, this. Just two more times, or three more times. And his boss is finished, his history. 
take this. Two more times. This is what I like about the character Lash. It's a fast runner. Not as powerful as Pimple. Now that's what I call kicking the shit out of the person. <laughs> Here's the overall outcome of my match. Giblet. TJ is the king of carnage. Toad power, amphibian power. Slide down to me, froggy suckers, or I'll feast on your worthless corpses. I give this game a 10 out of 10. Well, 9 out of 10, because in this game, you don't physically fight against the Dark Queen. Not in person. You don't physically hurt her. You have to fight against the robot that's created by her henchmen. Give it a 9 out of 10. Pretty much this is a really sweet game. Most of the game's cool. The push factor is they don't f actually fight against the Dark Queen physically. Because they're powerful. They're three powerful men against one tall scrawny lady. This game still kicks ass. The Dark Queen. I'll show you what she looks like. That's what she looks like. That's precisely what she looks like. The Dark Queen in their corset with bikini cape and her gloves, long black silky hair, and her over the knee leather boots. Yep, that's definitely the Dark Queen. The, the main antagonist in the entire video game. And when I first seen her, I was beginning to wonder if she was related to Shredder. Shredder's relative, like her sister, her cousin. She has the same mannerisms as Master Shredder. The Dark Queen here. Maybe this... Uh, yeah, she looks so too attractive to be beaten the crap out of. She looks too attractive and pretty for a man to beat the shit out of her. The Skank. The Dark Queen. The Dark Skank. The Dark Hooker. This game kicks ass. 